Dr. Suresh Venkatesan, Poets Chairman and CEO, is joining us from Singapore, where he's checking in on the team there. Suresh, thanks for taking the time while you're back on the road uh, to update us. Well, thank you, Adrian. Thanks for the time. So, yeah, like we said, you're in Singapore. How are the operations there and what's the team focused on? Well, you know, the, this is, of course, the center of where all the interposer development is occurring. So, you know, much of the team here um, is really focused on our Infinity triplets um, that we announced at the OFC and we're, you know, going through the paces in terms of, you know, getting, you know, all of the ducks in a row for our alphas and, you know, sample shipments and so on. So that's kind of, you know, a big chunk of the activity. There's a lot of development still to be completed. You know, we just did a first pass rough mad dash for the OFC, but, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done to kind of uh, establish the manufacturing processes around that interposer design um, and the 800 gig receivers, which, you know, we announced a, a commitment with LuxShare to using our engines. And so we're you know, sampling them uh, on a continuous basis. So uh, much of that activity is, of course, occurring here in Singapore. But there is a portion of the team that is kind of dedicated to more of the legacy products and its operations, right, which at least has at the internal to Poet, at least internal to Singapore, has transitioned into kind of operations and manufacturing. So there, you know, of course, the theme is, um, you know, more uh, focused on delivery and supply, right, and, and establishing a... Uh, pipeline inventory management, um, you know, and, and establishing kind of the pipeline of supply. And now with BFYY, you know, that kicks it up a notch. We've got, you know, 100,000 plus, uh, you know, interposers to be delivered uh, over the course of some period of time to fulfill that first order. So, yeah, I think the uh, the team here is kind of split into a couple of different, you know, hats, uh, the R&D hat and then the operations hat. And we are growing that operations team um, because of the volume of material that's uh, needing to be shipped, um, especially as through the course of this year, we take, you know, almost what, 14-ish uh, products into uh, production, right? And so we've got, you know, 100 gig CWDM4, transmit receive, the one chip solutions, uh, we've got the LR4 transmit receive, we've got the quad LR4 transmit receive. So, you know, on the the legacy side, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that is uh, kind of being established for kind of manufacturing readiness, while, um, you know, my R&D team and the assembly team here is really uh, focused on getting the infinity chiplets as well as the 800 gig receivers out. Mm -hmm. So 14 products, uh, we, ha we have customers for, for those as well? Yeah, we've got, you know, I mean, we've, we've announced the customers we've announced, and there are several others that we're discussing. Um, I think it was good to get a, a firm commitment from LuxShare. Um, so we are designed into their transceiver modules for 800 gig on the receiver side first. And then as we get our samples on the transmit, you know, we have a shot at, uh, you know, getting our solutions into them at that time as well. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, we are getting traction both on the leading edge um, as well as definitely on the legacy, which, you know, is starting to become uh, more pronounced as we kind of announce these products to be production worthy and production ready. And, you know, we are, we're also expanding our portfolio in the artificial intelligence space. And so there are a couple of other customers beyond Celestial that uh, we're now talking to. So that that's also been, um, you know, a good expansion of our portfolio. Yeah, so the, on uh, AI, uh, we mentioned Celestial AI has uh, uh, made a purchase order for uh, Poet Starlight, and, and, uh, and we'll be co-developing that with Poet. Uh, specifically, what does that agreement mean for the company to be this engaged uh, in this technology that is, uh, you know, really the talk of the world at the moment? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we we have been working with Celestial for a while, and we'll we'll continue to you know deliver you know uh, leading edge solutions for that particular market segment. That market segment is is um, is in some ways different from what we do for data centers. Um, it typically is you know eight sixteen channel implementations, and um, and and so. Um, you know the AI market, of course, is huge um, and and is uh, really exploding, 
And one of the biggest bottlenecks in artificial intelligence, at least in terms of just kind of providing solutions, is the memory bottleneck between kind of the processing unit as well as the memory, right? The memory houses all of the weights that are needed for uh, an artificial intelligence calculation. Chat GPT has a billion parameters. The next generation will have tens of billions of parameters. So, you know, there's a big push in that um, in that world to, you know, change the transmit between the processor and the memory to using optics, right? And, and a lot of companies are in that field, um, IR Labs, Nubis, uh, Light Matter, Light Intelligence, uh, Celestial. I mean, they're all kind of, you know, in that space. And they all, uh, it, it is not a standards set up today, right? So each customer is, is got his own solution, their custom. But what is common among all of them is they need a low cost light source. Um, and um, and we, uh, with our interposer, have the ability to provide this low cost light source uh, into that market using wafer scale integration techniques. And we also have some IP that can dramatically lower the cost of even today's solutions that we're working on um, to really corner that market and kind of own our fair share of it, right? And so it is um, when that market matures in 2025 and beyond, I mean, it's going to be the same size or even sometimes larger than the projected data communications market. Um, it's a different um, business model in that, you know, we're we're a light source provider and a critical piece of the system, uh, but it's a one-to-one -one attach rate to a processor. So every processor that's sold will require a light source. Um, you know, it's not like data communication sockets that are kind of limited to the number of sockets in a data center. Here you're now, you know, limited to how many processors are going to get sold. And that's a lot of processors. Um, and so we're pretty excited about that market. And, you know, we obviously want to get uh, more penetration in that market beyond Celestial. And, and I think the uh, announcements of our engagements there and, and our readiness to go into production there as well is... Um, is an important stepping stone towards kind of growing our share in that in that space. Does it surprise you that the technology that you and the team set about creating to address the pain points of data center and telecoms has also now grown to include the AI market? The, you know, it seems like such a a, a, a fit at the right time. It's, it's the things in may perhaps a, a fortunate way things have kind of fallen in, into your lap in that way. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's not surprising. I mean, at the end of the day, we are an integration platform and we provide a wafer scale integration capability for photonics that, uh, you know, that we've, you know, in a short period of time and, and literally with far fewer resources than other companies have brought it to a point of maturity and production. Um, so um, by virtue of the fact that it is an integration platform um, that has at its very core uh, principles of cost and scale. Um, you know, I think it fits into any market that requires cost and scale. Um, and and especially as the channel counts increase, um, you know, the value of our platform increases as well. Um, you know, at the end of the day, there are going to be many other ways where people can get to the end solution. But, you know, we're clearly in the pole position in terms of having an integration capability that works in that space. And, you know, our desire and, and our vision is totally to capture that, you know, position to solidify our lead in that space in terms of providing integrated light source solutions for the AI market, right? So it transforms us from being kind of a data comm company to more of an AI player, right? Which is, which is a, a, like a step function in terms of kind of potential revenue and potential volumes as well. Yeah, really, really fascinating how, how it's all developed. Um, so after Singapore, uh, what's next for you? I am really happy to announce that I'm finally going to be able to make it to China. Um, so I am headed out to Shenzhen next week from here. I'll be spending some time with the team there. I've never visited our offices in Shenzhen, and I haven't met most of the people there. So it's going to be great for me to go there and you know visit with the team. And I'm also going to be visiting Superphotonics uh, for the first time. I've never visited them as well. And, and meet with the executives and the team there. So yeah, I'm you know finally going to be able to make it to China next week after oof, 2019 January, right? Unbelievable. So it's been three and a half years. Yeah, yeah, well, unbelievable. You know, safe travels there, enjoy that. And we can't wait to hear what your feedback is 
from your uh, from your visit uh, in in, uh, in those uh, facilities. Terrific. Thank you, Adrian. Take care, Suresh.